welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Incarcerating. At Incarcerating, it's me again with another video. I think it's gonna be the first time that people will see this hoodie here on YouTube. Very rare, very, very rare. It's an old piece. <sighs> so, yeah. everyone tuning in from down under here in Australia it's currently 32 degrees Celsius which is so hot it's the first day of summer it's the first of December but we are going to be talking about jackets I also have an upcoming video about pickups so that's gonna be on my next video so please subscribe you can also follow me on Instagram at incarcerating so we can be friends online friends and since many of you are embracing and enjoying the fall winter vibes this season. I wanted to share a fresh perspective on jackets. We'll be romanticizing, dissecting, deep diving on a few archive jackets that I own. This is not me flexing. I don't like flexing, but I would like to flex the designer in question, which is Rick Owens. So let's begin with the first jacket. From a quick glance, people can reduce it into a banal biker hoodie. A lot of people would hate me and unfollow me perhaps. I have a strong aversion to hoodies. Why do we have hoodies everywhere? For me, it's a symbol of laziness. It's a symbol of the mundane, of the idleness, of dormancy and fast food takeaways and video games. However, I'm gonna show you a special hoodie. I may have one of fashion's most boundary pushing hoodie ever made in the 21st century. This is the jacket from Moody Collection. Just look at the details. First impression, oh my god. Can we just have a moment and appreciate this jacket? So let's all be boring and nerds and let's talk about the anatomy of the this wonderful jacket. So, let's all start with the head. You always start with the head, guys. Um, the head has always been a Rick Owens feature. I think his frustration with art led him to be a sculpture of humans as he treats his models as tribalistic totems. So we have here is the beautiful yet frighteningly grotesque hood. The headgear resembles a, I don't know, a tribalistic headpiece born in ancient Egypt called Nemes. And you all know Rick Owens is so, so infatuated and in love with the history and the grandness of Egypt. Tim Blanks described it as a futuristic air conduct. The fabric choice for the jacket is a duchess satin, commonly used for gowns, for bridal gowns, due to its richness and weight. Who would have thought to use Dutch satin as a hood? Aesthetically, the hood gives you that full-on battle mode aesthetic as it also resembles a, you know, a helmet. See how this is like a protective hair armor as well? Like it can also be molded and flattened. It's so insane. <laughs> it's like I'm wearing a heavy aircon duct, aircon vent. The noise is definitely muffled. It's definitely warmer. And yeah, there's like a vacuum-like quality to it. It gives you that sense space. It gives you that sense of peace and quiet. Yeah. You know, knowing Rick to disrupt the system, that mantle of conservatism, and that's what he did. He transformed the paradigm of a boring hoodie into a museum-grade art piece. Most primitive and futuristic, successfully merging the two into a whole new entity. The collection entitled Moody was a departure from the usual psychodrama that reverberates in, in the usual Rick Owens universe. These are the sort of looks that we often see in the subway, in the shopping mall, in the airport. That wasn't my favorite collection back then. Perhaps a collection was able to forge the concept of tribalism, not just in spirit but also in aesthetics because in that collection there were a lot a lot 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 of elements that 
hints on tribalism and warrior wear, something primitive. In all essence, I think tribalism or community is what makes Rick Owens Rick Owens, right? And you know, for me, clothes are people's armor because you know, the world is an ugly battlefield and we are all warriors. Typical of the Rick Owens jacket, very slim. The sleeves are very clingy. Like most Rick Owens jacket, it has a slimline silhouette. And you know, in the jacket, there is this trademark snap closure. The chest is festooned with fleece wool fur to create a texture story and to elevate the jacket into a more high fashion piece. This is the, the front part of the body, which is quite interesting because of the amalgamation of different fabrics. For travel, this would be perfect for social distancing as it gives a sense of being in a space capsule and in, in a cocoon. It gives you the sense of zen and peace and quietness. And I love that. It's like you have a barrier, a force field against being seen, against the prying, mocking eyes and the laughing people. What I like about Rick Owens as well is that his clothes not only gives you a sense of power but also offers comfort and coziness. His design may be identified as the clothes for monsters, outsiders, and freaks, but you know, freaks need comfort. Styling number two with this jacket from Moody, I paired this with another archive from the 2009 collection. And I'd say this is a good match. Boots mirror and echo the fleece that you can see in this jacket. To also show how seamless and how fluid his designs are. This is from 2014 and the boots are from 2009. Five years apart and they still look like they're talking the same language, talking about the same story. It's such a shame that it's so hot right now. We'll have to wait for probably like three months. Yeah, I think it's gonna be worth the wait because look at this jacket. Outfit check if you're interested. This is the Tech T from Edfu Collection and underneath I'm wearing the Spring Summer 2020 Power Shoulder, Peak Shoulder, Pagoda Shoulder bodysuit. Baby, it's currently 32 degrees like I mentioned and I'm dying. I'm so, so tempted to open the air conditioning but I think it's gonna make some annoying noise. This is from the Fall Winter 2017 collection entitled Glitter from the look 18 and 37 and it was done 67 years ago but hey this still holds an explosive and bewitching appeal. I haven't seen any designer or any brand who has done this. It actually occupies a lot of space in the screen as you can see and as a reference that's how, how massive this jacket is. At first glance, the jacket resembles a turtle shell in mascot proportions, which may look fearsome for most. However, in its essence, it's just a biker jacket. He named the jacket as the mini shroud. Shroud means a length of cloth in which a dead person is wrapped. Yeah, it actually gave me goosebumps because, you know, I used to be a nurse, right? So I think I've done the shrouding process a few times whenever, you know, there's a dead patient. So going back to the jacket, you know, erase the images of the dead people. Let's just think about fashion. So, because this is a video about jackets, let me just mention the, the composition of the jacket. It's labeled as SH. SH stands for shell. It's 54% polyester, 11% aluminum. 6% nylon. I think that's why it's a bit crunchy and a bit paper-like and structured and stiff, but not too stiff. Although it may look hard as a shell, there's a sense of collapse and drape. The crumpled textured fabric is oddly beautiful or maybe beautifully odd. It has a frozen time quality and it feels like the soft drapes of this jacket was poured with a hot magma, resulting in a rock-like texture. Now that it's moist and warm, it feels like a soft nori wrap. Like it just absorbs the 
the moisture of the air, I think. But it does hold its structure, I would say, because of the genius construction of Rick Owens. A lot of paneling, a lot of darts, and, and the sleeves are like a deep and abyss of a cave. The shiny textured surface defined Rick's artful essence, the grotesque and punk. It hits different as well because the way the crackled sheen and glaze danced as you move when you wear it, it does look like an alien, an alien costume, an alien, an alien skin. It's very extraterrestrial and otherworldly. The back slopes into a turtle-like shape. It is wide, but it's cropped. You know, because naturally clothes are meant to sit on your body. It's meant to, to follow the, the contours of your anatomy. So this one is different because it veers away and it abolishes the concept of the human anatomy, which doesn't really make sense, right? At first, if you have a tiny, tiny body in your short, this can be very challenging to wear. But I like challenges because avant-garde is the, quite the opposite of what practical is. And that's the path that I chose, so I just have to live with it. And practicality-wise, it offers warmth because it's built in with nylon padding. I can't imagine this wearing in the summertime. Like, just looking at it, I think I'm gonna melt. This is how I would style the mini shower jacket. Yeah, it's a museum-grade clothing, I would say. You know, I like theatrics. I love the superfluous, voluminous side of Rick Owens. I have to be honest, it's a very heavy jacket. Instantly, you'll feel the weight, the capacious feeling occupying a space. And because it's a large fit, it allows for some good layering, as we have seen in the runway, like clothes are being eaten by other clothes. The fact that it's cropped, it allows for a nice proportion play for large big pants or ultra floor length skirts. So this is how the mini shroud jacket looks like when it's zipped all the way up. Interestingly, I wore this with my cargo pants from Rick Owens. The coated denim works well with the aluminum glaze shell fabric that was employed for the jacket. I think it's nice. I think it's a good pairing, don't you think? So yeah, the jacket is so useful for creating compelling, imaginative, and striking looks. So if you happen to see this, from let's say a pre-owned website make sure to grab this this is just an amazing piece so from the crazy crazy jacket we we journeyed down to this little guy right here from hindsight you can see that this is just a very straightforward simplistic minimal banal jacket Probably one of my most useful jacket in my closet. So the classic biker jacket normally have this asymmetric zip. You know, this jacket resembles an effective hybridity or hybridization of both a bomber jacket and a biker jacket. The biker jacket, as you can see, is represented by this asymmetric zipper and the, the semi high funnel neckline you know when you wear it it gives you that right amount of high neck funnel i don't like it when it touches my face because of my makeup issues i think the bomber element on this jacket is represented by the the ribbing i just bought it because i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and i think it's a, a refreshing change and it was a refreshing change usually the rick owens jacket is peppered with you know, zippers, it's peppered with designs. But this one here is clean. You can see the nuance and minimal triangle stitching and the pattern is just so clean and even the choice of leather. This one is a tumbled sheep leather due to its soft sheen. So inside of a zipper, we have an invisible slit pocket for a more casual and clean facade. Sometimes too much zipper takes away the purity of a garment, right? Hence, the jacket is less tough, less robust, less sinister as compared to its zipped-up sculptural siblings. Rick Owens' jacket are so instantly recognizable and so thoroughly authored. Once in a while, encountering something simple and straightforward is a refreshing moment. And for me, this is an acceptance that adding a few pieces in your wardrobe that doesn't scream attention, but effectively complements an area of looks is important and valid. Paired with the Bella cargo pants. And notice how, how freeing and how liberating the bottom part looks like. 
made possible because of the the crop quality and tight fitting quality of the jacket. Sometimes it's good to have a crop jacket. One must have at least one crop jacket in his or her wardrobe. Pants are becoming more voluminous. Pants are becoming more big and structured. It's becoming more of the the focal point and the, or the central point of outfits lately. In other words, this jacket acts as more of a background for more groundbreaking pieces. The proportion playing balance of crop versus gargantuan, the jacket helps the, the pants to assert its space, to assert its, its existence, solidifying the structure, and overall it creates a beautiful equilibrium between the torso and the legs. And I'm very short and very tiny, so I like looking tall, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm really loving this fit. And I can see myself wearing this on a regular basis. And this is another styling featuring a very massive fitting pants paired with the crop jacket. Just notice that opening the jacket creates a more biker jacket aesthetic. Like see how this forms into a collapsed waterfall color. I love the fact that I'm wearing something of a simple jacket, but my entire look is far from simple. If you have any jackets that you recently bought, comment down below, tell me why you like it. What is the perfect jacket for you? I'd like to know. So thank you again for watching. That's about it. I'll see you on my next video. Ciao.